Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Graniteville, South Carolina, where the fraudster known as First Amendment Protection Agency is well trying to antagonize the local uh, church going populace. Oh boy, is there nothing sacred to any of these frauditors? I mean, come on now, dude. Are you trying to take a page out of SGV's book and, well, maybe uh, give them the sauce later on or something like that? Yeah, that's a distinct possibility of where you're going in the next few audits with the uh, filming churches and everything like that. Give them the sauce, huh? But at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and try not to throw something at your computer screen. And don't blame it on me if your uh, computer screen ends up being cracked as a result of that. Maybe they're going to be coming out the back. Maybe I should move down more. Maybe this guy's coming to say something. See you in a minute here. No, nope, guess not. A little longer than a few minutes later. How you doing? What's going on? I'm sorry? What are you videoing for? What am I videoing for? Yeah. What do you mean? Hello, what are you videoing? Standing out here videoing people coming Yeah, I'm just showcasing some nice churches out here, man, and some nice people in them. Yeah, I like, I like nice churches, Pete, which is you're standing out here videoing people. Some people don't like them. Oh, really? You know, you're invading their privacy. You know? Oh, on a public sidewalk? Yeah, but you're invading their privacy. They're coming out of a private church. Yeah, I'm not anywhere private. I'm on a public sidewalk, my man. Hey, moron. Uh, yeah, you. You with the Playboy shirt on. Uh, this may be part of your problem right here because you're filming churches with that shirt on. Now, I personally don't have a problem with Playboy, but the church-going crowd that you're filming, who will see that shirt most definitely, uh, may have a problem with it, so you probably went into this expecting that kind of thing, didn't you? That coupled with the fact that somebody's standing on the sidewalk uh, who they don't know, who they've never seen, who hasn't come up to introduce themselves, is taking pictures uh, of their church. Uh, so, doesn't that seem a bit, well, suspicious to you? I mean, to the normal person it would. But then again, you're not exactly a normal young man, are you? So, I'll, uh, I'll call the county police and see what they got to say about it. So hold on, let me get this straight. Somebody's out here standing on the sidewalk with a phone and you're gonna call the county police, right, correct? Right. Correct or incorrect? Right, I'm gonna call the okay. sheriff's office. All right, well, if that's what you wanna do, then go ahead and knock yourself up. What, what, their, what their opinion is of it. Go for it, man. Yeah. You take it easy now, you have a good day. No, people, people like their privacy, you know? Well, so do I, why'd you come up to me then? Because you invaded their privacy. No, I'm not, I didn't say a word. Yeah. You come up to me and talk to me, big guy. Hey, God bless, huh? Yeah. Well, it looks like you just found it. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. You know, dipshit, there is nothing wrong with filming on a sidewalk, but I find it, uh, uh well... Rather idiotic of you to stand there and be antagonistic toward anybody that wants to come up and talk to you about what's going on. I mean, half of this is your own attitude problem right there. I mean, if you would have come up with a, a better way of talking to this guy, hey, here's what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and I'm not trying to hurt anybody. But no, you had to get all antagonistic so you could get your clicks and views. And uh, that last line, the way you presented it, was certainly antagonistic. I mean, come on now, dude. Are you trying to start an issue with somebody that could most likely put you down on the pavement? It's interesting. Now we're going to have to get this guy's license plate. So 
2839RF. I'm sorry? You need to stop that. What do you mean? It's technically against the law. Technically against the law? Yes. You know, the, you know the law works in black and white, right? There is no technicalities or anything like that? Well, I, that's what one of the people over there told me. I, I didn't know that, but anyway. So now you do, right? I'm not 100%, but it's possible. Well, there you go. It's odd if you know. You're up to something. What do you mean? <laughs> Why would you stand out here and take a video? I'm just out here trying to showcase some nice churches and some nice people in it, man. Oh, the law is black and white. Uh... Well, dude, perhaps you should start reading uh, these statutes and seeing that there are exceptions to certain uh, statutes, I mean, conditions that have to be met. It's very complex, dude. I mean, it's not exactly black and white. And just saying that, that it's all black and white, uh, well, uh, that is a sign of, uh, of an uneducated man who doesn't want to go looking into how things really work. You know. You know. Morons. <laughs> well, you, your, your people should have came out and given a better face. But they haven't killed you, so that's the opposite. I mean, they're, they're not, I mean. <laughs> well, that's a pretty far extreme to go to, don't you think? Well, you said nice. I mean, they're not nice, but they're the opposite of nice is throwing rocks at you or something. They're not doing that. Right. So, technically. So you, you'd want your people or your church to just walk up to people on a sidewalk and question them on what they're doing, right? If it's odd, yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean. We, really? We've never had any. Where does it say that in the Bible, to go question people about what they're doing and not letting people walk on and do go about their day? It, it, it doesn't exactly say that, but, I mean, it's just common sense. Common sense. Well, what if, you, what if somebody was on your driveway and taping you? You would wonder. What's going on? Yeah, sorry, Pastor, but this guy has no common sense whatsoever. He doesn't seem to understand that, well, sometimes there might be somebody who has suspicious intentions standing on a sidewalk looking at people. I mean, he just doesn't seem to understand the psychology of that. I mean, he, he's got to have some mental deficiency or something like that that won't allow him to understand that. I mean, he's a simpleton to begin with. I mean, that, that's a little different. That's that's my house, right? Yeah, but right. this is basically like ours. I'm on a public sidewalk. Dude. Oh, I, and I know, I, I'm not, I, that's fine. But I'm just telling you, it's, it's sort of... It, well, this is mine too, isn't it? This is the house of God, is it not? Yeah. Come as you are, right? Sure. All right. <laughs> it's just odd we've never had anybody do this. I understand that. That part I understand. All right. Well, hang in there. All right. Yeah, this guy is a complete and total moron. I mean, he doesn't seem to have the mental capacity to understand that, uh, yeah, there can be somebody suspicious on the sidewalk who is probably taking pictures to... Uh, well, do something nefarious, and maybe somebody wants to check it out and make sure that it's all kosher. Case in point, there were other people that tried to approach the frauditor and introduce themselves to him, but he gave them all nasty attitudes as well. I mean, of course people are going to uh, uh, gossip about you and uh, you call you suspicious and everything like that, especially when... Well, you don't seem to be approachable to begin with. I mean, it's as if you've got a chip on your shoulder or you're just an outright asshole to begin with. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as you could, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?